in there when he gets home, if he gets home out of the rain. But now, uh, right, I'm, Doctor, I'm calling now. Okay. I don't know how we're online, but I guess the computer finally called it. Somebody's helping us. It shows. Uh, shows unavailable. It says not available. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, let me see if I can get Mr. Aldrich on here. Jan Aldrich was in touch with me. Uh, Jan, so it doesn't, you have his phone number and it shows not in history? Yeah, he Jan just, Aldrich. I guess he just threw it over to voicemail or whatever, you know, or not answer. Oh. Because it rang okay. like twice and it said unavailable. Oh, goodness. Okay. Well, uh, I had Jan Aldrich available tonight. He's been, uh, I've been talking to him, and he was going to call in and say hi to Bruce. And then we're going to have him in two weeks. But I guess uh, well, if we can't get Dr. Bruce on here. But he did know it was Thursday, so uh, sometimes those things happen. Well, uh, let me see if I can get Facebook, because uh, he'd been trying several times to get me. Facebook.com. Uh, let me try Jan Aldrich. She's been all over all my phones all day, and says this isn't available. Let's see. So we know Ken's stuck. Now, let me see, phone recent contacts. These phones, I tell you, these advertisements drive me crazy because they just, I've got to figure out how to use a phone without them. I mean, I know they help pay the bills, but you can hear me okay, Ahmed? Says we're ongoing. ongoing yeah, I can call. hear you. I was on mute. Oh, I was okay. On mute. Well, why don't you go ahead and tell people a little about you while I try to get Jan Aldrich up here. <laughs> there ain't much because, to tell about me. You know. <laughs> well, you're helping us with our whole just club. Always, just give them. Yeah. Uh, we are putting out a, a bi-monthly magazine. Uh, I've got the second issue. It'll be out uh, sometime next month. Probably around the 15th we'll put it out. And uh, it'll be up on Amazon. And uh, now if you come join the, the uh, ACO club for $5 a month, you'll get the magazine uh, sent to you uh, without having to buy it. But anybody else will have to buy it up on Amazon. And uh, it's mainly going to be uh, uh, scientific stuff, uh, uh, stuff that we know about, and, you know, and there will be some speculation to it. Uh, this next one, I've got uh, one of my short stories in it. You know, so uh, it's got uh, article about space junk, uh, article about some of the anomalies in our solar system, things like that. It'll be uh, interesting. Uh, not real hard science, but uh, down to earth stuff people can understand. And, uh, but a lot of the information they don't know about. Uh, there's even an article about uh, artificial intelligence in there, which uh, a lot of people don't know a whole bunch about artificial intelligence. It's one of my pet peeves. <laughs> I'm also a radio host at another station. You can Google a mad painter and find me. So... <laughs> I'm an artist, uh, do graphics work, author. Me and TJ have been uh, working on a, a book for her. <laughs> yep. Well, be, it should be out a, for too much longer, shouldn't it? Uh, well, yeah, I just wanted to go through it one more time, just being a uh see writing and then rewriting many years later uh and something's holding me back from getting that out i'm not sure what but jan was here earlier jan aldrich and uh he was online 
and he asked me for his phone number. He's prior U.S. Army, but Jane Aldrich was recommended by Dr. Bruce McAbee, and we are friends. I can see that that he's been with. Uh, he's been on KCRA a few times, hosted by Solaris Blu-rays. Blue, Blue that how you say it? Uh, and he yeah, was going to come Blu-ray. on and help us. Yeah, it looks like Erica Luke's too has a picture of him. So uh, anyway, let me go back. I don't know why we're having trouble getting these people today, but we are. Well, Jan Aldrich was born 1944 and resides in Canterbury, Connecticut. And he received a BA in history from the University College and the University of Maryland, but he retired with 25 years in field artillery and seven overseas tours, so he's had a lot of experience. He had 16 years in meteorology and remaining time in intelligence personnel and safety positions. Can uh, do you know how to get on and see if you can reach Jan Aldrich? Because he was just uh, talking to me right right before I told him to come you on in about five minutes. Her. I don't or have his telephone numbers. number. No, well, neither. I don't have it. Let's see. Uh, about default, Canterbury. Oh, oh, he's maybe he's the one that's been calling me from Connecticut. Okay, well, hold on. Let's see. He, I've not been able to get. It's been whatever he's on hasn't been reach, reaching through. So let me try this one more time. If I can get off the. Of, get these phones to work properly. I'm so embarrassed that these phones won't do what I want them to do. Well, uh, I wonder if the weather, because he's been trying to call me all day and since yesterday, as a matter of fact. I'm hanging up with Ken. We've got a split screen here. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to look and see these Connecticut phone numbers. He's been calling me all day, so I know it's here. Contact reminder. Sign into your account. Now, why would my phone want me to call? Sign into my own account. That doesn't make sense. Uh, but okay, hit recent. Okay, here it is. Uh, well, uh, I'm going to try this Connecticut and see if I can get him. I wonder if he's having trouble too from Connecticut. I'll put him on. If this, yeah. Can you hear that, Amanda? Hello. Hi, is this Jan? Yes, it is. Oh, Jan, great. I can't reach Bruce. Can you uh, possibly uh, call into the studio and let us interview you today? And we'll swap everything around for uh, Bruce in two weeks. Okay. Okay, I appreciate it. You got the number? Oh, yeah, you gave it to me, right? That's the one that works, right? The last one you gave me? 347 Yes. Okay, great. And I've given you a little bit of intro already, but uh, maybe Bruce will call in, but he must have got sidetracked. All right. Yeah. Well, thanks, Jan. Okay. We'll get, we're on live now, so we'll we'll continue the conversation on air. Okay, thanks. Wow, thanks. So I finally figured out the number trying to call me all day. Uh, Matt, I don't know if they were trying. He was trying on Facebook to get me on computer, and we couldn't get through. And I finally figured out that the number in my phone that he was trying to reach me was getting cut off. I think it has something to do with all this thinking they do, right, between your phones and your – and I'm always on computer, and then you put on Skype, and then you put on our studio. Uh but can you hear me, Ahmed? I have a lot of you, too. This yeah, is a strange, I strange day. All right. 860. Here he is. Good. All right. Here he comes. Great. Jan Aldrich, can you hear me now? Yes. Awesome. All right. Well, we're going to take uh, – we'll just have to add you, Jan, instead of Dr. Bruce, unless he shows up. But I'll put Jan Aldrich today. You were also uh, in intelligence – and did work. You want to tell people a little bit about your history? Because we are definitely live now. And I've got you in the, we have our ACO club, American Communications Online and ACO Association, and the UFO Association, and we're trying to combine them together 
on some of these uh, websites. I've been doing this for seven years now. But, uh, Jan, I'm going to put your name up here and then uh, give us uh, whatever you want. Were you born in Connecticut? Give us a. Uh, your, no, I was born in Ohio. I live most of. Uh, I've lived, uh, since I've been a civilian, I've lived most of the time in, in Connecticut, though. Okay. Yeah, so uh, I was in the Army for 25 years. A uh, uh, good part of that was uh, in meteorology. But uh, I served seven years as uh, an intelligence sergeant. Um, in a field artillery battery, so or uh, battalion, um, and then a, a, a field artillery group. So uh, uh, basically, what uh, at the time the uh, uh, we were uh, nuclear capable. Not anymore. We go. That's gone away. But uh, so that took a lot of work to get people the proper clearances and get them right into a, a nuclear program. So it was uh, quite a uh, challenging job there for a while. Um, I've been interested in UFOs since uh, um, uh, 59 when I read Rupelt's book. So uh, it's been a long time and I've been collecting stuff for 50 years. Now that I'm retired, the the problem is I have I don't have files I have piles so it's putting it in order and scanning it so uh, others can use it. Wow, that's amazing! Uh, so you've got your own archives then? Uh, yes. Uh, Hard uh, copy we started, paper. We started a group that. Uh, one of the main purposes was to uh, um, uh, preserve UFO material. So it was a sign historical group. And if you go to the Project 47 website, you can uh, you can uh, we share that with the sign historical group. So it, it talks about preservation and things. Uh, oh have, wow! Uh, yeah, I have uh, Dr. Willie Smith uh, case files. Uh, I have some of the case files from uh, NICAP, Connecticut. Um, uh, we just got through scanning Gordon Lohr's uh, case files, which were, uh, he was the uh, uh, assistant of NICAP um, uh, back in the, uh, in the, in the late 60s. So, uh, uh, I've got some Australian material that uh, has been passed on to me and uh, uh, a few other people um, that have uh, either we've exchanged things with or we've exchanged skin. So uh, I got about, uh, oh, I'd say 2,500 case files scanned in so far. Now, all that's in Project 1947. Is that that's your uh, historical group? Is AMC? Uh, uh, the his, yeah, the historical group is a uh, sign historical group. And yes, I see your logo right now. Well, I, yeah. I'll definitely put you on the UFO Association dot org and our ACO Association. Uh, as a, a link, since you've got all this set up, we're having that too, set up historical links and trying to find out who's who. So who answers right. Legion 47 Gmail? Is that you, Legion P47? That's, 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 uh, Legion is uh, John Stepkowski. He's my uh, – he's uh, the uh, webmaster. Okay, okay. Wow, I'm really glad we got in touch with you. You were thanks to uh, Bruce Maccabee, and I don't see him. I mean, he may call in on the hour. He may get be mixed up with the time, but whatever. Yeah, we'll be here for him if he shows up. But sure, Jan okay. Aldrich, 
we'll definitely have to get you back in a couple of weeks. But right now, uh, let's go through what uh, you've been able to do as a ufologist. Tell us, so you read, uh, was it Kehoe's book? Or what book uh, 